हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम नीलांजना सनियाल वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल एन एस ऑनलाइन मैथ क्लासेस आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज द चेंज ऑफ बेस रूल फॉर लॉग एल्बम्स वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द मल्टीप्लीकेशन लॉ ऑफ लॉग एल्बम्स द डिविशन लॉ ऑफ लॉग एल्बम्स द पावर लॉ ऑफ लॉग एल्बम्स वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द फोर इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लॉग एल्बम्स नाउ in our today's session we will be learning about the change of base rule for logarithms and e b c what are these we will be knowing about them very soon they are positive numbers and b is not equal to 1 c is not equal to 1 and along with the rule and its proof we will also be solving two challenging questions which will be needing this change of base rule to get solved in this session okay so without any further delay let us start with our today's session first of all let us know what is the change of base rule it is log of e to the base b you are having this logarithmic term to the base b and if we want to change the base from b to c then what happens how do we do that This is equal to log of e to the base c over log of b to the base c. Now, people often get confused. They just don't remember whether to write e in the numerator or b in the numerator. See, the base b is always a subscript. The word log and e they are at the same level, but b is slightly below these two it is a subscript so it is always at some lower level so because it is at the lower level it will be coming down in the denominator because e the argument is at a higher level it will be moving up to the numerator you may remember this this in this form so that you don't get confused if you have some other way to remember fine enough okay because students often get confused they don't remember which one to be written in the numerator and which one to be taken in the denominator okay so whatever base you want you just take the base to be that number and the argument will be the argument of the numerator the base will be the argument of the denominator of the logarithmic terms so this is the change of base rule now coming to the proof let log of e to the base b equal to x that is the left hand side is equal to x we convert this logarithmic equation to its corresponding exponential equation and we get b to the power of x is equal to a next we take the log of both the sides to the base c so it will be log of b to the power of x to the base c is equal to log of a to the base c and we bring down this x from the power position to the coefficient place so it becomes x times log of b to the base c is equal to log of a to the base c and that gives us the x value as x is equal to log of e to the base c over log of b to the base c and what is x x is log of e to the base b log of e to the base b is equal to log of e to the base c over log of b to the base c which is the change of base rule okay so we have proved this rule now we come to the very first question of our today's session it is if x is equal to log of y to the power of 2 to the base 3 express log of 81 to the base y in terms of x and you see this is log to the base 3 and this is log to the base y and the final answer will definitely not be containing y it will be containing x so we have to get rid of y so we have to change the base from y to 3 so how do we do that 
this one is log of 81 to the base 3 because we want to change the base to 3 from y. So, it is log of 81 to the base 3 over log of y to the base 3. Okay. Now, we start with our answer because this part we, we just know that we have to convert this term to base 3 and how do we convert? We can convert, we can get this term expressed in base 3 in this form. Okay. Now, we come to this part. x is equal to log of y to the power of 2 to the base 3. So, 2 can be brought down. It is equal to 2 times log of y to the base 3 is equal to x. So, and we need what is the value of log of y to the base 3 because we cannot keep this y in this term. We need x. So, what is log of y to the base 3? It is x over 2. Okay. So, in place of log of y to the base 3, we can write x over 2. So, log of 81 to the base y, that is the given thing, is equal to log of 81 to the base 3 over log of y to the base 3, which is this one. This is equal to log of 81 is written as 3 to the power of 4 because the base is 3. And in place of log of y to the base 3, we write x over 2. So, it is log of 3 to the power of 4 to the base 3 over x over 2, which can be written as 2 over x because x over 2 log of 3 to the power of 4 to the base 3 is getting divided by x over 2. So, it is 2 over x times and the 4 is brought down, it is 4 times log of 3 to the base 3 because this should be equal to 1. We cannot keep log. They are saying that you have to get it in the form of x. So, it is if possible, we have to remove the log part. Okay. So, we know log of 3 to the base 3 will be equal to 1. So, we will be able to get rid of any logarithmic part. We will be having an expression with x. So, this will be equal to 1 and this will be 2 times 4 is 8, 8 over x. Therefore, x, um, sorry, log of 81 to the base y is equal to 8 over x. Okay. Coming to the next question. Given m equal to log of 3 to the base 4, express log of 24 to the base 2 in terms of m. Now, over here also we are seeing this is base 4 and this is base 2. And we have to change the base, we have to get to the same base. So, we can change this base 2 to base 4. Or we can change this base 4 to base 2. What should we be doing? Remember always it is easier to change the higher base from the higher base to the lower base. It is always easier to go from the higher base to the lower base. Than coming from a lower base to the higher base. Always whenever you are having two numbers. In our previous question, we did not have any choice. One was the number and the other was y and we had to remove this y. So, we had to change this y to base 3. But in this case, both are numbers. So, we can either change this 2 to 4 or change this 4 to 2. And we will be changing this 4 to 2 because it is always easier to go from a higher number to a lower number, then coming from a lower number to a higher number. Okay. So, we write m equal to log of 3 to the base 4. We change the base to 2. It becomes log of 3 to the base 2 over log of 4 to the base 2. And 4 is 2 square. So, this is log of 3 to the base 2 over log of 2 square to the base 2 and 2 this power 2 will be coming down. It will be log of 3 to the base 2 over 2 times log of 2 to the base 2 which is equal to 1. 
So this is log of 3 to the base 2 over 2. That means log of 3 to the base 2 is equal to 2n because we have to express in terms of n. So m, so log of 3 to the base 2 is equal to 2n. Now we come to log of 24 to the base 2. We have converted and we have got a logarithmic term to the base 2. Now we come to log of 24 to the base 2. And we have to come to log of 3 to the base 2. So we have to get uh, th this term somehow from 24 because 24 in 24 we are not seeing 3. But there is a 3 hidden because 3 is a factor of 24. Of course, there are other factors also, but we write 24 as 8 times 3 because we need this 3. We have got this log of 3 to the base 2 in terms of n, m. So, therefore, we have we need this 3. Therefore, we have factorized this number 24. We have written the two factors of 24 as 8 and 3. And then we use the product rule for logarithms and separate them. It is log of 8 to the base 2 plus log of 3 to the base 2. And what is 8? It is 2 to the power of 3. And in place of log of 3 to the base 2, we write 2n. And this 3 will obviously be coming down. And it will be 3 times log of 2 to the base 2 plus 2m. And this one, this part log of 2 to the base 2 is equal to 1. So this is equal to 3 times 1 or 3 plus 2m. Okay. So students, this brings us to the end of this session. Please like, share and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching this video till the end. We meet again very soon. Till then, bye.